Hey guys, welcome to a Halloween edition of Russia Blood. We're doing a 100% psychotic difficulty walkthrough in Minds of Death. Now, the psychotic difficulty is basically in the same difficulty, but there's no checkpoint. So if you die, you have to start over from the beginning. Now, because it is a 100% walkthrough, we're going to go and get the one secret in this level, as well as the 20 collectibles. The 20 collectibles are basically uh, bowling pins dressed up as clowns, and they're called Skittles. Now, we can't get all of these in one uh, run. We're going to have to actually get 18 of them which is the most you can get in a single run, and then come back and get the remaining two. So once I complete this here on Psychotic Difficulty, this walkthrough, I'll go back and show you where you can pick up the other two. Now be careful of the flames here, because they are going to one hit kill you, so you're going to have to dodge left. There's going to be another one just ahead, and we're going to have to dodge, I think, right, if I'm not mistaken. And then we're going to eventually get to an elevator. Nothing's going to kill you, with the exception of this fire, so be careful of that. And it's going to be about a minute before we have to worry about anything. Now, if you're playing this on Psychotic Difficulty and you're going after that trophy for completing the game on it, you can't do it through Chapter Select. You're going to have to do a new story from the very beginning chapter or the first level all the way through level number seven. Now, gratefully, you can go and after each one quit out, save to the cloud. In case you die, you can just re-download that save. So there's kind of a little trick for you if you're trying to get all these levels uh, and get that psychotic difficulty trophy. So we're just going to take this down and uh, this thing's not going to bother you. It won't get you, so you can just put your guns down if you like and enjoy the ride as best you can while something's trying to rip your face off. All right, so now this is where the fun begins. You got your first set of enemies. Just grab these two weapon pickups. Make sure you get the dude here. And uh, just kind of just shoot here. Now, our first Skittle, first of 20, is, and I already shot it accidentally killing these enemies, but it's right here on this beam on the right corner of it, right there. And then the only secret in this level is right here behind this door. You have to blow it open and then look to the right, and you'll get this little scene. So that's it for the secrets. Now our next room, there's three Skittles in here, three collectibles. Immediately, as soon as you enter this area, look straight to your left, just up a little bit. Next one is up high to your left, and then up high to your right. So make sure you get all three of those collectibles while you're here. Now you're gonna have enemies coming at you from the left, from in front of you, and from the right. So just be quick, you got your pickups here, you also got the, uh, the flame gun. It's uh, just above you. There's one there to the left and one to the right. Just be quick. Reload. Honestly, it looks much harder than it really is. As long as you just keep making sure you look left and right. Don't let these guys sneak up on you. Alright, so that'll, that'll do it for that encounter. Now in just a little bit, we'll have another Skittle. As we come around to the bend here to the left, you're going to see a minecart crashed on the right-hand side with the lights all around it. You can see the Skittle. It's pretty easy to see this one. Probably not going to miss that one. Now for this level, uh, because we can't do it all in one playthrough, any option where I can choose left or right paths, I'm going to just choose the left path here. Uh, there's nothing at this point... Uh, this section here to the right so make sure you hit that switch right here to and go left and there's another switch here by default I think it already is left so I just switched it right let's go switch it back to the left now we're gonna have a skittle right over here to the right immediately by the next switch so make sure you turn and get that one again staying left there's gonna be another one over here to the left side as we duck under watch out for the fire now, I didn't hit that switch to go left. I intended to, but I'm not going to miss out on any collectibles. All right, so up ahead here, you have a, a switch left and right. You have two major paths here. This is where we have to come back and reload. But at the split, look to the right there, and you can find one collectible. There is two more if you take that right path, so we're going to have to come back and do that again. Now you got some mine carts here. There's going to be three of them with heads in it. I don't know if the next collectible requires you to shoot any of these. 
knowing this game is possible. So I think I shot all of them, but maybe one. Again, I don't know if that's required to get the ninth collectible. But as we come under the path that's above us, you're going to see a minecart pull up to your right-hand side. So look to the right and you'll see the cart. And inside that cart is the bowling pin. So go ahead and shoot that thing. Alright, so now we're going to go down and around. And we're going to run into our next collectible here. Again, stay to the left. Shoot that one there. Make sure you stay left. And you see it immediately to the right. Right before that trap. The next one is going to be as we bend over to the right and then back left. It's going to be right above you. So again, if you're just confused about which way to go, as long as you stay left any chance you get, you'll run into, again, the first 18 collectibles. And once this uh, playthrough is over, once I beat the final ending and get back to the score screen, uh, I'll restart the chapter, or restart the level, and I'll show you just the sequence where the uh, where you'll get the remaining two. All right, so now you slow down to an exceptionally slow crawl here, and if you look up and to the right, you'll see another skittle. And this is a little obnoxiously slow. But we're going to come into the next area where we're going to have to uh, fend off a few waves of enemies, including those really fast dudes. But as you enter this, you're going to kind of come to the right. And if you look up and kind of towards your left, you'll see it right up there. You'll have plenty of time to get this one, so I don't think you'll miss it. All right, so now let's see how fast you guys are at shooting. To survive this, you're going to have these dudes just kind of speed around and uh, shoot them whenever they stop, and they'll stop right at your minecart several times. If you need gun pickups, make sure you get them. And just be quick. Reload and shoot. Really the best I can tell you. Don't bother trying to hit them if they're moving. It's going to be a fruitless effort on your part. So it looks like I took them out. We're going to get some ammo pickup on the elevator that falls on the left-hand side. Now this isn't too difficult. Just to make sure you're quick. They might try to sneak up on you, kind of flank you a little bit to the left or the right. So make sure you just keep your eye on your peripheral. All right, so that'll do it. Now you got some Night of the Living Dead here. We got some people cr crawling up from the ground. I don't think they can actually hurt you. I think they're there just for the scares. But you do have to kill this guy, so be quick on that before he explodes in your face. All right, so we got about another 30 seconds before we get to our next collectible. So make sure you duck here. You do not want to lose your head to those saw blades. There is a trophy, I believe, for doing that, so maybe you do. But again, on psychotic difficulty, there's no checkpoints, so you don't want to do it. You want to kind of do a chapter select here and go back and get those. All right, so as we come down here, we got some speed here. And you'll see it, this next one, it's going to be on the left. Right in the middle of this area, right as you slow down, just look to your left. Alright, so we're going to have another one. As we come here, we're going to make a very slow turn to the right. So number 15, you have to look down and to the right. You have a good 10 seconds to get that one, so don't rush it. All right, the final three. These are going to be at the very ending sequence. In there, you're going to be in an elevator. You're going to be descending. And uh, two of them, you're going to have to be somewhat quick on. But the first one is actually pretty well hidden. As you get to the end here, you're going to see a crashed minecart just in front of you to the right. And on the ground is the Skittle. You can only see its head. It's right there. So make sure you look for the head. Now we're going to descend. Now when you get the... Uh, 
the uh, creature uh, above you, you need to immediately look to the left, or the right rather, and there's a barricade you gotta blow open behind that ba barricade is a Skittle. So you got the guy above you, and then look to the right. So you gotta be quick on that one. Now, this is, can be very difficult, especially on this difficulty. You're just gonna have to be quick. Hopefully you got the earbuds in, you got that 3D sound going. Listen for the enemy location. You're not really gonna wanna look for it, you're gonna wanna listen for it. And just be quick, try to pick up guns as you can. Reload, shoot, and listen. I can't, I can't stress the listening part enough. All right, so we're gonna have number 18, Skittle. It's gonna be actually in front of you. There's gonna be a little cave opening right there, right by the uh, gun pickup. And again, just be quick, listen, look, and shoot, reload. That's really all I can tell you. At this point, there's nothing you can do. We will have completed the level, thankfully. And that's it. We do have two more collectibles I need to show you though. So let's just go ahead and get to the end screen here. Uh, if you follow this path that I took and you got all the collectibles that I shot, you're gonna have 18 of them and the one secret. All right, so here's the scoreboard, 18 out of 20. That's the most you can get in one single run. And then the one secret. So I'm going to go ahead and load up the level after this traps here. Again, you're splitting the path. I went left last time. I'm going to go right this time. Now, if you remember, I did shoot a collectible. It was right there. I shot that before we took the left path. Now, Skittle number 19 is going to be on your left-hand side. You'll see it. It's pretty easy to see this one. Easier to see it than shoot it, apparently. Now Skittle number 20, the final one. You're gonna be in a fast descent here, or somewhat fast. You're gonna have to be quick on this one. It's gonna be on the left-hand side, right there, right next to the rocks. And that, my friends, will do it. That is all 20 collectibles, plus the one secret. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.